The people in Bastrop took time out last night to focus on something other than the massive wildfire. Juan and Sebastian Robertson takes us to a game that had Bastrop cheering. A new energy filled the gym at Bastrop High School. Hearing this crowd, it's hard to imagine that days ago, a wildfire tore through the town. Over 1,500 homes destroyed. Just, just for a couple hours tonight, we're going to try to heal this, this community and get their minds off what's about to happen. We've still got several weeks and months and years to, uh, before Bastrop becomes the way it was. But Thursday, the focus is not on the thousands of families displaced. It's not about insurance or FEMA. Tonight is about football. Tonight is bigger. Tonight you play for your community. You play for your school. You play for all those firefighters we're going to honor tonight. Guys from Dallas, California, everywhere that came here to help you. A team that's used to taking hits, but not these kinds. 11 players lost their homes. Head coach Gerald Perry got into his home for the first time Thursday. It's still standing despite water and smoke damage. Well, kids are resilient. They, they are uh, truly, you, you get inspired by watching your kids, uh, all the great things they've done, working at shelters. Uh, we've had 11 players that lost their homes. Not 11, not a one single kid has asked for a single thing from anyone. As the Bastrop Bears take on the San Marcos Rattlers, they carry the hopes of their community on their backs with every play. They may have missed some practices and even a game. Still, the team is ready. Tonight, guys, we rebuild. Bastrop rebuilds tonight. Yes, sir. Rebuild right now. Let's go. Rebuild right now. Let's go. Let's go. Win or lose. Tonight, this game isn't just about football. It's about rebuilding the community, making beauty from ashes. State leaders have approved five million more dollars for volunteer firefighters. The governor, lieutenant governor, and Texas House Speaker sent a letter to the Texas Forest Service. They're asking the agency to speed up the distribution of $27 million to local volunteer firefighters. They've also approved $5 million for equipment and expenses. The Texas Forest Service says grant applications will be screened so that departments hit hardest by the wildfires will get the money first. State lawmakers cut the budget of volunteer firefighters by 70% this year. Those cuts are set to take place starting next year.